Hello everyone, Amadorn here and welcome back to Am's Constructs. Today we're talking about roofs. Now behind me is a little blockhouse. It's a fairly simple build. It's it's well designed and decorated and depending on how you modify it because it is very modular, you can turn this into just about anything. But right now it's just a square block. It doesn't have a roof on it. Now we've all seen this picture. Um, I believe it was posted on Reddit. I'm not sure exactly who did it. Um, I'll try to figure that out and put uh, credits for them in the description below. But it's got all these different designs of roofs on it. Now most of us generally put a regular roof on. It's a gable end roof. You know, occasionally we'll spice it up with a cathedral type roof. But has anybody ever, I mean, have you really spent a lot of time and built the different roofs that are on this list? I haven't. But I thought I'd give it a shot and see what they look like. So in this first one here, we have our regular gable roof. And it looks pretty good. I like how it, uh, it makes out. And, um, you know, it fits the house fairly well even though it's fairly small. And, and again, this can be scaled up depending on how big you make your house. And, and, and um, you know, if you have like um, additions on and stuff like that, then they all kind of interconnect fairly well. And it works pretty good. Now, this roof here is the Gambrel roof. Um, it, it's almost kind of like a cathedral roof. You, you've got these arched sides to it. Um, you know, and it uses stairs and blocks to give more height to it. Now, the attic in this one is much more usable. And it still fits this little house here fairly well. This next one is the clear story roof. Now, this one's a little odd. And I'm not sure it fits this house at this size. Now, if this house was bigger, it would probably fit a little bit better. Um, the attic in this one, totally unusable, but it's still not bad. It works. This would probably fit better with a more modern build. Um, since this one's made out of wood, wood it, it really doesn't fit as well, but for a modern house, it might not look too bad. Now, this one here, I actually really like. The only thing that I would change on this one is I would probably turn it around so that the overhang comes off the front instead of the back. This is called the salt box roof. And, you know, it's basically a, uh, you know, a, a box roof. It, it's very similar to the gable roof. It's just that one side is at a different slope. Than the other and it creates this nice little overhang you could extend the house to fill this space in and have bigger rooms back here that would just certainly be used uh, doable um, but again I would probably turn it around now the attic space in here is usable um, you actually get a little bit more uh, space in here than you do in the gable but not a lot this next one is a curved roof and again, this opens up quite a bit of attic space, and it really fits this house. Um, it would probably look better if you had some dormers on the front here, so you've got some windows. Um, and you could do the same thing with the back. But this would fit in just about any sort of medieval world. Um, you could put, uh, you know, windows here on, on the sides. Maybe, maybe, maybe change it up so that this is the front of the house. And you've got a nice uh, open circle here. And then you could have like rows of these. This one over here is the mono pitched roof. Um, now, again, this kind of opens up some attic space here. But uh, you lose some as well. Because right about here, you've only got two blocks of height. And then you lose like these three blocks of the attic. You do get to go all the way out to the side here. And if, I suppose if you wanted to... You could put windows here, and you could maybe put a balcony here and get some extra space here. Maybe extend the roof a little bit farther. Um, it looks a little odd 
on this small house. You would probably want this on a bigger house. Um, and maybe lower it down so that the back of the roof actually comes down to about here or so. Um, of course, if you did that, you'll lose the attic space altogether. Now, this next one here is called a butterfly roof. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've seen this very often in real life. Um, it's very unusual. There is absolutely no attic space to this one at all. And it kind of creates this trough in the middle of the roof. Now, if you were in an area where, like, there was a lot of dry weather, you know, rain was kind of light, this might not be a bad idea because water would collect in this thing. And, you know, you could have some sort of piping system that would drop the water in into a collecting collector. Um, and, you know, that would work. Now, this one here is a gable roof, again, but it has a lower slope to it. So you lose the attic space. But on a small house like this, it actually might not be a bad idea. You know, it, it fits. It fits very well with this house. You could lower it down a, a block and, uh, you know, start it down here. And, and then have even a, a smaller roof, you know, and, and it would work great. Now, this one here is our last one, and this is the mansard roof. Um, it, it's similar to the curved roof down there, but it comes away kind of flat across here. And it is mostly flat. And again, this actually fits this little house really well. Um, I like it. It's almost kind of a flat roof. Um, and it doesn't, you know, you don't lose any space. You do, you don't have an attic, which is fine, mm -hmm. but, uh, it gives you some nice differences that you can throw into this. And, and all of these roofs would look fairly well in most places. Um, obviously roof types are... They're, they're kind of dictated by tradition, but they're also kind of dictated by where the house or the structure that you're building the roof is in. If you have a roof, or if you have a house that you're building in a cold climate where snow is going to be huge, flat roofs are usually a bad idea because then the snow will collect on top of it. And all that weight can become a problem, you know, and collapse the roof. So in a in a very cold biome, you know, you might want a higher slope to your roof. You know, in in a more temperate climate where snow isn't going to accumulate as much, you know, you don't need as big of a slope. So a, a gable roof would work just fine because here you're just trying to keep the water off, and you know, and give plenty of room for snow to melt off. In dry climates, you know, you might want to try to use the roof to collect water and where something like this butterfly roof might actually make a little bit more sense. Or, in some cases, a flat roof that has a lip around it that can be used to collect rainwater, um, you know, and then push it off to a cistern or something that you can pump water out of later on. So here are the 10 different roofs. They all fit with this structure. They got this little house here. They all have their, their pluses and minuses to them, depending on where the house is built, what the purpose of the roof is. You know, are you trying to prevent snow from sticking? Are you trying to collect water? You know, does it just need, you know, protection from the rain? Um... You know, those are all things that kind of dictate what kind of roof style is used in a particular area. You know, here in the Midwest of the United States, where I live, um, most roofs are often gable roofs. You know, you'll have some dormers on them. You know, a lot of people, you know, have these ranch style houses with these gable roofs on them. And you can do little tweaks and stuff to them, like... If you wanted to, you could like flare this out and give it kind of a Nordic feel. Um, you could do that with the gable end as well as as this uh, gambrel end. You, you know, you could flare them out a little bit. 
Um, you can put dips in here if you want them to look a little worn and saggy. You know, it just depends on what you want to do with them. So there they are, and I hope this gives you a little bit of insight on what you can do with different roofs. Experiment. Because there are way more different designs of roofs than what you see here. But you never know. You know, think outside the box house a little bit. And, um... Go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Goodbye.